Streaming to my Steam Deck has changed the way I play games, and especially the way I play PC games. Streaming isn't something I just found out about. I've been playing with Chalky for Deck and XP Play for a few years now. But streaming to my PC has always been kind of a hassle. I could never get Steam to stream at a consistent level until I downloaded Sunshine and Moonlight. And this completely changed the way that I stream to my Steam Deck. Not only can I play games with the same level as my PC can run them, but the visual fidelity of streaming them to my Steam Deck is as if I'm playing them in the same room with my PC. It's absolutely insane. When I was starting to stream from my PC, I was getting very inconsistent performance. I was thinking it could be my PC, but how could that be a thing if it was hardwired into my network? So I was pretty much stuck streaming to my Steam Deck from my consoles or just downloading the game straight to the deck until I just kind of threw my hands up and said, I'm going to find some other solution to stream my games to my Steam Deck, which led me down a path to find this software called Sunshine and Moonlight. Basically, due to Steam's remote player having high latency for some reason it means the connection to my PC is going to have a lot more lag and just a lot more issues when it's downloading all that data that is needed in order to play a game remotely. People have opted to use Sunshine and Moonlight, which allows you to play games at a much smoother performance level. And like I said, Sunshine and Moonlight gave me a basically instant performance boost. I have a way better latency, way better response times, and just a much, much smoother experience. Obviously, not everything's perfect. There are some spikes. I have had some lag, but that is just due to my own network. And not only on top of having a much smoother experience, the visual fidelity of streaming from Moonlight is so much crisper. Like, it's way more crisp than streaming from my consoles or even xCloud, which is another cloud-based streaming platform from Xbox. So let me try to diss the other ones. They're still great streaming streaming options. It's just streaming from Moonlight has literally made my Steam Deck look as if I'm playing at my PC. And also, if you have some sort of networking issue at your house or apartment or whatever it is, Sunshine gives you a bunch of settings that you go ahead and mess around with and like your megabyte level to have, you know, whatever streaming options you need to make your connection the best that it could be. And on top of that, I can stream not only Steam Big Picture Mode, but my entire desktop. So for example, I own Red Dead Redemption 2 on Epic Game Store, and I'm literally playing that game on Moonlight right now. And when you open up a desktop option, it even gives you like a mouse and keyboard support. You kind of have to mess around with your Steam Deck settings, but it's it's doable. It's good. I'm just trying to shout out Sunshine and Moonlight in case anyone's having any streaming issues. Like I was streaming directly from Steam, my PC to my Steam Deck. These options literally cleared it up as soon as I was done downloading. I also want to mention this software works with both AMD and Nvidia cards. So whatever setup you're running, you should be good to go. And like I mentioned previously, maybe you're someone who not only has a Steam Deck, but maybe you own one of the two, three, four, whatever, however many consoles there are, then streaming your games from whatever console you have is pretty easy to get set up. If you're someone who owns an Xbox console, you can go ahead and just purchase XB Play on the Steam Store. This app basically allows you to play your Xbox directly to your Steam Deck. Not only that, but it allows you to remote play through your console. So if you just want to play directly from your Xbox to your Steam Deck and whatever games you own, you can do that too. I was literally playing like Metaphor Re Fantasy the other day. It looked phenomenal. Another cool thing about XB Play is that you can go into the settings and mess around with like, what console you want to stream from. So let's say you own an Xbox Series S and X. One's in the living room, one's in the bedroom. You're hanging out in the bedroom, you go ahead and switch the console you're streaming from. You have a better connection directly to whatever console is in that bedroom at the time. And like I said, you don't even just have to play games that are on your console. You'll have full access to Game Pass if you are subscribed to that service and you go ahead and stream whatever games are cloud enabled. Another cool thing about Xbox is like if there's some games like Assassin's Creed Mirage, for example, where they already are enabling cloud play anywhere. So basically you have this copy you go ahead and stream it directly to your steam deck your phone whatever it is you never need to install it you never need to actually remote into your console it's just available to you through xcloud and honestly that's that's pretty sick and also if you don't want to go ahead and pay for xp play i think it's like two bucks or something like that you go ahead and follow the microsoft guide to get xbox game pass onto your steam deck it's pretty easy and straightforward now if you have a ps5 you only have two options really one is to get a playstation portal and two is to get chalky for deck if you own a steam deck this application you can go ahead and download from the steam deck desktop modes application store i think it's called like chalky ng or something like that this is another great option for you to play your playstation on your steam deck it's one of the ways i've been playing final fantasy 7 rebirth that game is so long I don't think I would ever be where I'm at in this game if I wasn't remoting into it through my Steam Deck I go ahead and just do a few missions in the beginning I was doing like all the side quests now I'm just trying to mainline the story to get over it sidetrack that let's let's get off this topic please for the love of God this game is too damn long streaming games to your Steam Deck is honestly an awesome way to play it allows you to play on the couch in the bed on your desk wherever you want to play it also gives your Steam Deck a longer lease on life but the more you upgrade your PC over time maybe you're getting a 5090 or a 90 
9070 XD, the games are going to start performing better on your Steam Deck. You're going to be able to play those games in Ultra, maybe Ray Tracing, whatever the highest settings are. And you're going to be able to stream that directly from your PC who's hosting it to your Steam Deck. It's just one of those nice perks about the Steam Deck being able to stream your games, upgrading your PC, or maybe just upgrading your console over time. Because like I said, the Steam Deck is already pretty outdated and it's only going to be more outdated as time goes on. Like I downloaded Red Dead Redemption 2 to my Steam Deck and I had to put things on about low, maybe a little bit of medium settings. But now that I'm streaming it directly to my Steam Deck, I'm literally playing the game at like ultra settings. Like I said, not everyone's network is going to be the same and someone's performances might be better than someone else's. Your mileage is going to vary when it comes to streaming. I'm literally connected via fiber and I still have stutters when I'm streaming sometimes. So really, it's going to come down to the stability and the latency issues when it comes to streaming. Like I found out the hard way, streaming from your PC is going to be the best way to do it. It's going to look the best. It's going to perform the best. It's going to have the longest lifespan. But like anything with PCs, it works when it works and it works well when it works well and when it doesn't well pc is probably the hardest time inducing annoying platform to use and i have to say this streaming from the console has been a much smoother experience not only do i have full functionality via the controller support the buttons whatever it is i'm able to turn it on when it's resting or go ahead and turn it off when i'm in a different room i've had some issues on pc where my pc is not turning off when i'm telling it to turn off or my mouse and keyboard support just isn't working or my screen just goes completely black because i had some sort of network issue. So streaming to your consoles might be the better overall smoothest experience while PC gives you that better performance. Maybe at a cost, maybe it's a bit more annoying. It's just kind of the name of the game with PC gaming. I mean, regardless, I highly recommend trying to stream your games to your Steam Deck. Being able to play games from your couch, your bed, your desk, or even like when you're away from home is pretty awesome and something I think everyone can enjoy.